This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so we are starting our next topic, that is document validity. Okay, so the topics that we are going to cover were describe the describe the function and steps in a release procedure. Okay, release of purchase requisitions and purchase orders. Okay, and then customizing settings for release strategies. So these are the topics we will be covering in the the document release procedure. Okay, so basically, uh, first we will understand uh, what is this document release basically. Okay, in the SAP system, in the SAP system, you can set up approval procedures in purchasing for purchase requisitions and our external purchasing documents like purchase orders, contracts, scheduling agreements, RFQs. So basically, in the in the organizations, what happens is normally sometimes for some purchasing activity they need approval suppose let's say they are purchasing a material let's say it is a it's a very uh, costly material or, or the purchasing value is more so in that case they need to take approvals like they have to take approval from their purchasing manager or company vice president or sometimes company md so these kind of scenarios they will go for this approval procedures Okay. So this approval procedure, you can apply for both purchase requisitions, our internal purchase requisitions or external purchasing document like our PO, contracts, scheduling agreements or quotations. Okay. If a purchase requisition or an external purchasing document fulfills the certain conditions, certain conditions, the document has to be approved approved before further processing can take place so you will have certain conditions certain conditions like, like let's say uh, take for example the po value if the po value is let's say more than 50000 50000 inr or 50000 usd let's say just take an example in that case it has to go for approval okay so if if it if it if it fulfills certain conditions then it has to be approved by the respective people respective people then only you can do further activities okay an electronic release procedure can reflect the approval process okay so in the system you can put a release procedure which we will be discussing in detail okay that that ultimately uh, fulfills the approval process this release procedure automatically blocks the relevant documents for further processing until until it is released unless and until it is released you cannot continue further okay so that is the release procedure so basically this release procedure is nothing but approval process okay so before purchasing the metal from a vendor you take approval from the respective people like purchasing or manager purchasing department manager vice president company vice president or company md okay so these kind of things so it is nothing but approval process okay so first we'll start with the release procedure for purchase requisitions okay so basically uh, we create purchase requisitions okay the concerned departments will normally will create purchase requisitions okay so now after the purchase requisition is created it is converted to purchase order this we have discussed already okay so before converting to the purchase order this needs to be approved this has to go for approval so once approved the once the purchase requisition is approved then only you can convert then only the purchasing department can convert it into your purchase order okay so that approval process we can do. we can set up in the system okay so first let's start with the requisition the aim of the release procedure for requisitions is to prevent that these can be converted into follow-on documents so basically uh, why we put why we put the release procedure for requisition is to prevent from converting to the follow-on documents like purchase orders or outline agreements okay or any rfqs whatever Okay. So before converting into the purchase order or other, or other document types, it has to be approved. Okay. It has to be released. It is necessary to differentiate between two types of release. Item-wise release 
and overall rates. So in case of purchase requisitions, we have two methods. Let me open a notepad. Okay, so for purchase requisitions, for purchase requisitions, we have two methods. One is okay, item level release item level release whereas also you can have header level header level release. you have both both options are possible for purchase requisitions okay it is necessary it is necessary to differentiate between two types of release one is item wise release another one is overall release okay with an item wise release every item is checked as to whether if corresponds to the criteria required for release the check is made as data is entered so in item wise release you check at the item level okay whereas with the overall release all items must fulfill this criteria at header level all items has to fulfill the criteria if you see here this is the this is for purchase requisition let's say the, we have a purchase requisition having three items three items okay so in case of item wise release you release each item separately you release first item you release the next second item and then you can release the third item here you can do item wise approval then those can be converted into purchase orders whereas you have the overall release header level release so you have a purchase requisition having three items three items but still you can release it header level which can be converted to purchase order so we have three or op two options here item wise release and header release okay so let me show you this in the system okay so if i log into the system Okay, so go to logistics, go to logistics, go to materials management, purchasing. Okay, you have purchase requisition. Open this. Here you have, see, there is a folder here, release. Okay, if you open this, here you have. Of course, this is individual release, this is collective release. That is again, that is again uh, options for release. That is option for release. That's okay. So, so basically what you need to understand here is for the purchase requisitions you have two options either you can release at item level or you can release at header level all items together okay so now as this is option uh, this option is available so basically for purchase requisitions we have two types of releases okay for purchase requisitions two release procedures are available one is without classification another one is with classification okay so without classification with this procedure purchase requisitions can only be released at item level okay the one which we discussed so if you want to release at item level if you want to release at item level you should follow without classification so here only account assignment category material group plant and value characteristics are available as release criteria so the release criteria is account assignment category this we have discussed already material group plant and value of the purchase requisition this is without class okay and this is at item level whereas with classification this procedure enables you to release requisitions at header level only okay every field of the purchase requisition can be used as a criteria for the release okay so both so let me show you this directly in the configuration first. Okay, so let's go to configuration. SPRO, SAP reference IMG. Go to materials management. Okay, go to purchasing. Okay, go to purchase requisition. Okay, here you have release procedure. If you open this, here you see there are two things set up procedure without classification another one is procedure with classification two things are there. two things okay so here when you want to release at item level you can go for 
without classification without classification whereas if you want to go at header level 